Yeah, this is day one of the seed germination experiment. What we've done is we've uh, searched out 16 different substrates and we've seeded them today and we're going to pay attention to, to film and to report what happens to all these different substrates. It's a diverse selection of substrates, so it's going to be in, very, very interesting to what's going to happen with this. So I'm going to do an experiment to, just to satisfy my own curiosity. I believe in the power of seeds. I believe that this power that's built into these seeds is incredibly strong. And my prediction is that these um, grass seeds, it's regular grass seed, that they will grow incredibly well in almost everything. Um, there's certain differences, that is uh, weight. Some of these soils weigh nothing, some of these materials weigh absolutely nothing. Here are a couple of them, pine needles. Um, this moss has absolutely no weight to it. It has a really hard time absorbing water. So there's all these differences. This cow manure is quite fresh. Everyone says that when you uh, have seeds in cow manure or plants in freshly uh, placed cow manure that nothing will grow in it. Let's see what happens. I've got a sort of a limestone screening here that is quite toxic. My prediction is the seeds might not germinate in that, but I think they will. I have some river sand that is quite full of the same material but finer. We have a, a really different clay here that's very sandy. It's got a good ratio sand clay mix. This is a compost that we make in the garden. This is a clay that's very rocky. So as you can see, we have all these different materials. And uh, when they start to germinate, we'll talk about them in more detail. This is, this cow manure is very, very gooey. It's like, must be very, very fresh. So the idea is this, we're going to take this container, which is one tablespoon. So let's start with, uh, let's start with this, uh, it's like a soil that used to be wood. It is uh, decayed, I'm quite sure the termites had a lot to do with this. So we're going to put this entire mix in here. And we're going to do this with every single material. We're going to mix one tablespoon of uh, grass seed in here. I'm going to spread it around. So that's about the right mix right there. So what I'm going to do, make sure the seeds get distributed throughout really well. I can see the white seeds in this brown mix, so it works out really well. So there we go, that's distributed well. So that comes back out. So that's officially loaded with grass seed. I'm going to move it together. Going to do the same again. Another tablespoon. And this is river compost. It's basically on the sides of the river here. It is natural material that's decomposed. It's a very good soil. The seeds will have an easy time in this. So again, here we go. One tablespoon. I think that's quite close to a good mixture of what you're supposed to... Uh, put into a mix like this size. Okay, so we're going to do all these the same way and then we're going to wait a week or we're going to wait until the first results, the first germination occurs and we're going to tape it. Um, I think everyone has their bets on uh, certain materials but what I have to say is that there's a there's quite a difference between the materials holding moisture. This clay is soaking wet. This gravel is very dry. This clay mixed with sand is very dry. 
This uh, guinea pig manure is uh, very wet. These pine needles sort of are trapping the moisture underneath. This uh, cow manure is completely wet. So what happens is these materials have different abilities to retain moisture. And my bet is that that's going to make a big difference in the germination process. We're going to moisten these down every day with a spray bottle. And uh, I think that's going to be the end result is the ones that have the ability to hold moisture longer, they might actually germinate faster. So let's see what happens. Is the consistent moisture more important than the actual substrate for germination? Yep. So, every one of these materials has received the same quantity of seeds. Every single one. We are going to pay attention to this. We're going to put a piece of plastic, clear plastic, over top of this so that the water doesn't wash this away. And uh, we're going to pay attention for this probably for uh, until everything germinates. We'll see the different germination rates at a minimum. And uh, there's certain materials that are questionable. This uh, fresh cow manure, everyone says that the cow manure will simply burn the seeds. We've got guinea pig manure. We've got this uh, heavy duty limestone, which is quite toxic. Um, see if anything germinates in that. This is very aerated, these twigs from um, a root system from trees that are next to the river. This is very muddy, this is very twiggy, this is very, um, is loaded with clay. This is a perfect sand clay mix. So there's going to be a lot of questions here is what happens with all these different materials. And uh, stay tuned, we're going to uh, film this as this progresses as these things germinate. Uh, my experience is that grass seed needs about seven days in perfect soil or perfect sand to germinate. So we're going to see what happens with this and uh, stay tuned and we're going to make another video or another two videos on, on the progress of this. Thank you.